Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back again to another lesson in English. Today, let's revise the first and second lessons of the new Mulberry English course, course book five by Anahita Lee. This is the first lesson called The Owls in the Family and the second lesson, which is called The Wizard of Hockey. Let's revise both these lessons in multiple choice form. These are questions from within the text. They are not at the back of each lesson. Okay, these are my own questions, which I have framed to see if you can get them all right. Because if you can get them all right, it would mean that you have understood the text very well. So shall we begin with this and see how well you have understood chapter one and two? If you don't perform well in any one of these lessons, then you can read the text again to make sure that you do. So let's test yourself and see how well you do. So here we are ready to begin. It's a revision of the first and second lesson. Like I said, the owls in the family and the wizard of hockey. I have 30 questions for you. And each question has three answers, three possible options that could be the answer to that question. Let's begin. Here's your first question from the first lesson. The baby owlet was found in the backyard, on the ground by the veranda steps, or on the mango tree. Now, what do you think is the right option? The answer is on the ground by the veranda steps. The second question, grandfather fed the baby owlet some pasta and sauce, pieces of pizza or raw meat and water. The right answer, raw meat and water. I hope you knew that one. The third question, the spotted owlet, even when full grown, is the size of a miner, eats chips and toffees, or watches cricket matches. Wow. So what's your answer? The right answer is, is the size of a minor. The fourth one, a pair of spotted owls is usually found in an old mango or tamarind tree, an old barn, or a bucket of warm water. So what's your answer? The right answer? is an old mango or tamarind tree. The fifth one, the spotted owl likes to eat ice cream, is not normally afraid of man, or is strictly a night bird. You have read the lesson, so what do you think is the right option here? The right answer is this one, is not normally afraid of man. The sixth one, other birds invite the spotted owls to their homes, sometimes attack the spotted owls, go hunting with the spotted owls. And the right answer is the second option, sometimes attack the spotted owls. The seventh one, the spotted owlet was found in almost the same place as the first one, hiding in the kitchen quarters or under the narrator's bed. Where was the second owlet found? And the right option is A, in almost the same place as the first one. The eighth one, mother owl left a banana for her babies during the night, tried to pull her babies out of the mosquito netting, left a mouse for her babies during the night. What do you think? What's the right answer here? Yes, it is C, left a mouse for her babies during the night. Not even a rat. Rat is not the right answer. It was a mouse. The ninth one. Grandfather and the narrator took the birds into the garden to release them, to set them free, or for some fresh air and sunshine, or to show them what a mango tree looked like. Maybe they had no idea what a mango tree looked like. What do you think? To release them. Right? That was the right answer. The 10th one, Mother Owl could not hit Grandfather because, well, Mother Owl hit the narrator, if you remember, and she tried to hit Grandfather, but she did not. Why do you think she did not do so? Because he hit her first 
or he was agile enough to duck out of the way, or he smiled warmly at her and then she got happy and did not hit him. What do you think? He was agile enough to duck out of the way. The 11th one, the owls were not happy in the narrator's house. Among the few pets that grandmother took a liking to, or always fighting with each other and disturbing everyone? Your answer should be B. Among the few pets that grandmother took a liking to. The twelfth one, Aunt Mabel loved the owls very much, was terrified of the owls, or took the owls with her when she left. Is that what happened? Well, she was terrified of the owls. The thirteenth one, when wild owls were around, the spotted owls would shriek loudly at night. The spotted owls would share their meals with them. The spotted owls would play hide and seek with them. Wow. What do you think? So the right answer is A. The spotted owls would shriek. They would scream loudly at night. The 14th one, in response to grandmother's voice, the owls would make gentle and soothing sounds. The owls would start singing the happy birthday song or the owls would disturb the nights with terrible shrieks. What would they do when they heard grandmother's voice? And the right answer is A. The owls would make gentle and soothing sounds because they liked her very much. 15. The owls spent their nights. Huh, so what did they spend their nights doing? Stealing chocolates from the fridge because they loved chocolates. Singing a lullaby to the baby because there was a baby in the house. Or catching beetles. And why would they do that? What's the right answer? Catching beetles. I hope you got it right. The 16th one. The owls were excellent pest destroyers because... Why were they excellent pest destroyers? They troubled everyone in the house all day. They had sharp eyes and powerful beaks. They slept in grandmother's rocking chair. Maybe they did, but is that because they were excellent pest destroyers? So the right answer is B. They had sharp eyes and powerful beaks so they could see the pests very clearly and they could attack them with their powerful beaks. And with that, we've come to the end of the first lesson, the owls in the family. So you can check your score and see how well you've done out of 16 questions. Give yourselves marks. See if you have got at least 14 out of the 16 questions, right? If you have, that means you are prepared for this lesson. You know the text very well. If you haven't done so well, you know what you need to do. You need to read the text, not once or twice, but over and over again until you are absolutely certain that you have understood it well. Because in English literature, that is the important thing. You need to read the text, not learn answers by heart. Once you have understood the text, you can answer any question that you get. All right, let's move on to the second lesson now, which is called The Wizard of Hockey. And let's see how well you perform in this one. So the 17th one. Dhyanchand was born in the state of Karnataka, Jhansi, or Uttar Pradesh. The right answer is definitely Uttar Pradesh. The 18th one. Dhyanchand was born on. Now these options can be pretty confusing. So look very carefully and think before you answer. 29th August 1905. 29th August 1950 or 29th August 1805? Right answer, A, 29th August 1905. There are a lot of details in this lesson that you need to learn. So I suggest you keep a rough book close to you when you are reading the text and make a note of all these points that you need to memorize. Memorize them as you are reading the text. That's the easiest way to do it. 19th. Dhyanchan's father was Subedar Sameshwar Dat Singh, Subedar Major Bole Tiwari, or Subedar Roop Singh. The right answer, A, Subedar Sameshwar Dat Singh. The 20th one, Dhyanchan's schooling suffered because 
Now, you know, I hope, that his schooling did suffer. Why did it suffer? He always went for hockey matches. The school gave the students too many holidays or his family had to frequently move to the different cities where his father was transferred on duty. What do you think? The answer is C. 21st one, Tianchen stopped going to school. I hope you remember that he stopped going to school. He did not complete class 10. Why? Because he hated some of the subjects? After he completed class six, Dianchan stopped going to school after he completed class six. Is that the right option? Or Dianchan stopped going to school when he met Rupsin? And why would he do that? The right answer is B, after he completed class six. 22nd, young Dian loved hockey. Now we're talking about Dianchan when he was young, when he was a boy. Did he love hockey? Hated wrestling? Did he hate wrestling? Did not show any special interest in sports. What's your answer to this? The right answer is C. Did not show any special interest in sports. The 23rd. At the age of 17, Dhyanchan stopped going to school, joined the Indian Army, or played a hockey match in Berlin. So what's the right answer? He joined the Indian Army. The 24th, Major Tiwari. Now we're talking about Major Tiwari. Who was he? Do you remember? He taught Dhyanchan geometry. He became Dhyan's guru. Was Dhyanchan's uncle. What do we know about Major Tiwari? The right option is became Dhyan's guru. The 25th, Dhyanchan's international career lasted 22 years till 1926 or till he was 71 years old? The right answer has to be 22 years if you have been reading the text and memorizing the details. The 26th one, Dhyanchan scored 36 goals in 12 Olympic matches, 36 goals in 14 Olympic matches. 36 goals in 12 Olympic matches. What is the right answer here? A, 36 goals in 12 Olympic matches. That's the answer. The 27th one, the Japanese thought. Now, what did the Japanese think? That Dhyanchand had a magnet inside his hockey stick? That Dhyanchand had some palm leaf stems with him? That Dhyanchand had glue on his hockey stick? What's the right answer? It is C, that Dhyanchand had glue on his hockey stick. That's what they thought. 28th, Dhyanchand earned the nickname. Do you know he had a nickname? People called him something because of his skill on the hockey field. What did they call him? Hockey witch, hockey wizard, hockey magician. So the right answer is Hockey wizard, because wizard is a person who knows magic, but it's a male, which would be a person who knows magic also, but a female, so we can't call him a hockey witch. Don't get confused. Dhyanchan's birth date is celebrated as the National Hockey Day in India, celebrated as the National Sports Day in India, celebrated as the International Hockey Day. So this could be pretty confusing if you have not read the text well and memorized the details. What do you think? Have you read the text well? Can you answer this question? And are you sure that you will get it right? Let's see. Did you get it right? If you did, then very good. It is celebrated as the National Sports Day in India. The 30th and last question for today. The Singh family has won five Olympic gold medals, one Olympic gold medal, or 10 Olympic gold medals? The answer, A, five Olympic gold medals. So with that, we've come to the end of the second lesson. Now you could give yourselves marks, see how well prepared you are in the second lesson, The Wizard of Hockey. If you are well prepared, very good. If you aren't, it's time to start reading the lesson.
not once or twice, but over and over again, until you are sure, you are confident that you will get every question right, that you will be able to answer anything your teacher asks you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope most of all that it was useful to you. And because of this lesson, you will perform better in your tests and exams. And if you do, my job here is done. Thank you for watching. We'll meet again very soon. Until then, take care. Cheerio.